Everyone probably read about Isaac Newton, or perhaps some other famous philosopher, scientist, or someone who painted the Mona Lisa, Da Vinci. And in this book, these extraordinary people are the leaders of a secret cult, a secret cult for the Sacred Feminine. Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Evan the Bookquester. Today I have this epic, awesome book for you guys to listen to. The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, the master himself. And today I have this awesome book. I mean, recently I have read Inferno, which is another Dan Brown book that was just epic and it was fun. And it's about the same person as the Da Vinci Code. Robert Langdon. And recently I have found out that Robert, there is a series, book series called the Robert Langdon series, and the Da Vinci Code is immediately book two in that series, and Inferno, I think, I believe, is book four. And right now I'm just mixing up these series and reading them the wrong way. I mean, I've read four and I'm, I read two. I have one right there I borrowed from the library, but, you know, it's just the way it is. And let's get right on to it. Our dear main character, Robert Langdon, pro professor at Oxford University. An awesome, cheerful, and mischievous professor who is a, who is a symbologist and who is very, very smart. And our dear Mr. Langdon is one day called, called to a museum to find the murder of one of the most famous people of all time. The owner of the Louvre, Louvre, Lou, Louvre, and and this this director had called Langdon to meet with him, but he hadn't shown up to that meeting. And well, the Robert finds out that he had been murdered, then had done had done something crazy and erratic. He had positioned himself in a pose that no other man would ever would, with and he used his own blood to paint a pentagon, a star, on his chest. And I just followed Da Vinci's oldest masterpieces. And really, it is a great mystery. And you see, this talks of the Holy Grail and the secret that, that the Catholic Church, the Vatican, had been trying to cover up since the age of Constantine. Emperor Constantine of the Roman Empire thought that this new Christianity would be able to unite his nation so that he could have, he saw it as a political tool, which meant that it has to be the best of all religions. And what he did was something very evil, the biggest cover up in human history. He covered up the fact that Jesus was no son of Christ. He co they he cover up the fact that he rewrote the Bible, the New Testament, and Jesus was a great person. He was a prophet. He was the greatest of them all, and he did. He was the Messiah, but he was no son of God. He was not Christ. Well, at least in this book, it it's just a book. Anyway, if I continue on, and Mary Magdalene. I mean, everyone who read the right Bible would know Mary Magdalene was one of the maidens that, that was in the Bible. And the thing is, Mary Magdalene and Jesus had a, they were married, and they had a son, and they had a line of Christ. And that meant that Jesus had a sexual partner, which meant one thing. Jesus was not Christ. He was not the Son of God, although he was one of the greatest prophets who ever lived. And it continues on, and Mary Magdalene herself is the Holy Grail. And there is a secret society that is dedicated to protect the secret of Mary Magdalene. The Sacred Feminine, the one who was denied her right. And there are documents, missing pages from the Bible. That is held together, that was held together by the Knights Templar, who, in turn, protected the secret, and used it to basically wield an upper hand over the Vatican. And now, secret society is 
protecting the secret, the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail itself is Mary Magdalene, which is what you have to understand in this book. And Robert Langdon has been called. He had been called by the, one of the grand masters of the secret society that protected the Holy Grail. And that basically means, well, it's a very complicated plot. But the four people who know the secret, who know where the grail is hidden. The grail basically means Mary Magdalene's tomb, plus the document that documents that proves that Jesus was not Christ. And this holy grail, four people know where it's hid. Four people, the most influential people in the secret society that protects the holy grail and one of them, the strongest of all of them, the Grand Master, has had written, P.S. Find Robert Langdon. Right next to him uh, was the marker that would only show using a special flashlight. And the police suspect that Robert, Robert Langdon was the one who murdered the Grand Master, also known as the director of the Louvre. Louvre. And this means that Robert Langdon is on the run. And with Prince with Sophie, who is happens to be the granddaughter of the Grand Master of the Secret Society, together they must solve an unbreakable code. A code. A Da Vinci code. A code that reveals the location of the Holy Grail. And personally, it was an epic book to read, and I will not reveal the ending because, well, it will just be, come to a shock to you. And personally, it was a great book, full of twists and thrills, and I couldn't let it go. It is a true page turner. It's the Da Vinci Code. And like always, the book wester and the book wester. Great book, guys. And I gotta say, I am very impressed by the person who read this. I mean, half of the information in this is real. He had to research all that. And for me, that would have been taken years. And, well, here's the masterpiece that resulted from all that hard work. The Da Vinci Code.